I'm not going to be on this video too long. I just want to briefly comment on that dude that took out his ex-wife and his baby mama. He told his ex-wife when she opened the door, today is the day. He confessed on video that he just shot his baby mama in the head. He seemed quite distressed. You can see it in his face. Then he decided to take out his ex-wife, which they were going through a custody battle. And she accused him of touching his children. The baby mama accused him of doing the same and threatened that he was not going to see his kids. They did what a lot of females do. They weaponize the children. So when the baby mom, or better yet, when the wife opened the door, he told her today is the day and he killed her and he killed himself. There are so many men that deal with that same issue to this very day. It seems the law changed for everyone to benefit everyone except for men, especially the so-called black man. Child support family court remains the same. You have females that would go out and abort the baby. My body, my choice, my baby. The man has no say in it at all because now the guilt trip comes. I have to carry the child for nine months. I have to go through this. My body is stretching out of shape. And she don't need his permission to abort that child. But then if he chooses not to be a father, then he's a deadbeat. He's forced to pay child support, even for children that's not his own. He's deceived and manipulated and made to believe that a child is his. He take on the responsibility, raise that child up. After she drain him and get what she want out of him, then she tells him in the heat of anger, it's not your child. So then the paternity test is done and come to find out he's raising another man's child. She does not go after the real father. The real father or, or, or seed donor gets a free pass because he's locked up. She refused to date you. She goes out and date a bum. He gets her pregnant. She needs a baby daddy. She now comes and give you a little bit to trap you because she's got an agenda. You bite into that agenda. Now you find out that you're raising another man's child and they tell you that you have to step up to the plate. Why would you walk out on that child that got to know you? It's not your fault. You were trapped into that. But there's no laws to protect that man, to arrest that female for fraud. And the money that these dudes pay into child support, they don't get it back. They don't get that money back. They were deceived. They would fraud. Um, a fraud was perpetrated. But they don't get that money back after they find out this child is not theirs and she walks free. Her child gets a gift. Because you were deceived. I think laws should be changed, man. More men need to stand up and try to get these family court laws changed. Because if these laws remain the way they are, we're going to find more cases like what happened with that young man. I'm not mad at him at all. I understand him. Because she should not have been weaponizing the children. It should be against the law for females to weaponize the children. It should be against the law to pin a baby on a man 
And once that man finds out that child is not his, he should be awarded his money back. Her wages should be garnished. She should be locked up. I saw this paternity court where this man spent five years in prison. It's a white dude. Spent five years in prison. And I say he was a white dude because for some crazy reason, black females, there's a lot of people that feel that the only people that are labeled deadbeat are black men. And it's not true because I spoke to so many white women that's having the same issue that black females are saying that they're having. They have to do everything by themselves. They pay the bills all by themselves. He's not taking care of his kids. He's denying his children. All of that. See, black women aren't the only ones that saying that. White women are saying the same thing. And what we look at today as toxic masculinity, I don't think that many dudes are toxic. I really don't believe that many men are toxic like that. I think the toxic toxicity is coming from women. Females are usually the aggressor. They're the ones that's clawing and scratching up the man. They're the ones that is that that that's attacking the man because they're caught up in their emotions. The man responds, she slaps him, he slap her back, or he try to restrain her. Then she say, I fear him. That's like you find these people at the zoo that be putting their hands in the lion's cage and teasing the lion and whatnot. And the minute the lion grabbed their hand, then it's like, oh, poor pity me. I'm bleeding. I'm hurt. The big old lion grabbed me and bit me. You shouldn't have never had your fingers in that lion cage in the first place. And that's the way it is with a lot of females especially black females. They would be the aggressor. They, were, uh, they would attack these men. And the minute these men fight back, they're the victim. They fear for their life. So, like I mentioned in that past video, young brothers, y'all need to not get involved with these females that have children. If you can help it. Now, one thing I fought this dude for. One thing I think was crazy in his fault. Why would you, if you're going through a custody dispute with your ex-wife. Why would you get your girl on the side pregnant? Why would you go out and make another baby if you're going through a custody, custody battle right now? See, because right now you think. Because your ex-wife is doing that. Your girl on the side. Your chick on the side. She's watching everything. She's watching your reaction. You're telling her everything about this woman. You're exposing yourself to her. So when you expose your weakness to that chick. She in turn will use your weakness against you. Everything that you say about your ex-wife, she will use it against you because the bond of women are tight. It's about women. Doesn't matter if you have an ex, a baby mama, or what have you, you can meet a girl on the side that seems perfect, that seems like she understands, that talks a good game, but she's taking intel. She's listening to you. She's watching you. And you're revealing your weakness. So she take all of that stuff and tuck it away. And when things don't go her way or when things go south. She now uses your weakness against you. Your past against you. She take from that other females, your ex-wife playbook. Because you gave her the keys of destroying you, of hurting you. She knows what hurts you because you cried in her arms. You went to her with your problems. She listened and she took notes. And now 
she's even more venomous than your ex-wife. So why would you get this woman pregnant and you're already going through a custody dispute? That should have been the last thing on your mind to get this female pregnant. So in that respect, I fought him. But at the same time, I'm not mad at him because a lot of men, a lot of good dudes are going through what he's going through and they need to change those laws, those child support laws. Unless they change those child support laws and those family court laws, more of what happened is going to happen. These dudes are going to say today is the day I'm fed up. I'm tired. I'm sick. And he's going to take out the baby mama because now she's weaponizing those kids and using the court and her defense. And the court cares nothing about the man. Doesn't matter how much evidence he presents. Doesn't matter how much evidence he present. He's still at fault. And he's now labeled toxic. And labeled touching his kids. And labeled a deadbeat. I've seen cases where dudes took care of other men's kids thinking they were his. And when they ended up in paternity court, the judge talked about those were gifts so you don't get that money back. That was a gift. You gave it to him. No, he, he gave it to him because he thought those were his kids. He should be awarded his money back. That was fraudulent. But these females are protected under the law to commit criminal acts against men and they get to walk free so I'm not mad at dude um, it's unfortunate uh, what he did and now these kids are going to grow up without both parents and there are so many men now that are saying F these kids that's the best thing to do man it's like yeah you take care of your kids man I always support taking care of your children but if you're in a custody dispute and now she's starting to blame you and falsely accuse you the best thing to do is walk away from them kids man go start another family somewhere if necessary I wouldn't personally because I wouldn't want to go through that again so I learned the first time the first time around I'll learn there's going to be no second time. I'm going to protect myself. See, and a lot of men need to start protecting yourself, man, from these females. Stop getting them pregnant. Stop allowing them to, tra uh, to trap you. A big booty and a smile, man, don't allow that to lure you in to captivity. Because there are no laws out there to protect you as a man. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe until next time. I'm fearless.